noticed earlier that the ambassador to the United Nations from the was here. I believe he, he and his team get the prize for having come to Falls. And as you look around at, at this great As, as you in this business and you see all these, these people. And, and what, a, what a great group. I wish you could see yourselves from here. It's really a spectacular group. In fact, I don't, I don't think you can find a group of people like this dedicated like this anywhere else in the country. And I know this for a fact. There's not a, a fine a finer president or CEO of any poor part of the business in the United States.
they come into the southeast. This southeast conference is just one more example. They're not going to other places as much as they come in here. So we, our opportunity for prosperity is wonderful. We need to think big, uh, aim high, think outside the box, and be bold. Audacity, more audacity, always audacity. And I remember Mark Clark, the great president of the Citadel, youngest four-star general in the history of the United States Army, said shortly after World War II, he said, there's more patriotism in South Carolina per square inch than any place in the world. And I believe it, and that's one of the things that makes us strong, and one reason we're going straight to the top. And now, Mr. Newsom, with your permission, I'll read this proclamation. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation, whereas South Carolina's harbors and navigable waterways in Charleston, Georgetown, and Jasper make our state perfectly situated to benefit from waterborne commerce that is evident in our state's rich maritime history. And whereas the maritime community is made up of many different occupations that come together to advance the economy of the Palmetto State, and whereas international trade through South Carolina ports facilitates 210,904 jobs across the state in the maritime transportation distribution and manufacturing industries, while providing an overall economic impact of $60.5 billion each year and accounting for one in 10 jobs statewide. And whereas moving containerized cargo, roll-on, roll-off cargo, specialty cargo, and bulk commodities by water is efficient and environmentally friendly, and South Carolina's modern port facilities serve as the link between cargo-carrying vessels and our state's transportation network of highways, railroads, and airports. And whereas the South Carolina Ports Authority is undertaking major strategic projects, including deepening Charleston Harbor, constructing a new container terminal, expanding the successful inland port grill, and consistently growing operations at inland port Dillon, as well as planning for the Jasper Ocean Terminal, in preparation for future growth and success, and whereas this week the South Carolina Low Country is hosting two significant port-related events, the annual State of the Port Address hosted by the Propeller Club and the annual South Carolina International Trade Conference. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim October 21 through 25, 2019, as South Carolina Ports Week throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize our maritime community for its successful endeavors in international maritime trade and the impact it makes on our great state. And as they used to say, we don't all work for the poet around the state, but the poet works for everyone around the state. So finally, those are great words and that philosopher, uh, Tim McGraw, also known as a country music singer. I like it. I love it. I want some more.